MTV, welcome to my crib. Here I am popping in while I'm editing. Are we shocked? No. Before we start, I just want to say real quickly, if you're expecting a certain aesthetic to my room, there is none. There is no theme. My room just basically screams my personality i don't know i'm very thankful and happy about my room it's literally what i've been wanting even though it's been a little bit over a year since i've had this room i'm still as obsessed and in love with it as i was when we first put it all together during editing after pretty much anything i showed in my room i would either say oh my god go off i love it i'm obsessed and i got so annoyed at myself editing right now just hearing all that so i cut it all off because it was just so repetitive but just know I am now here's the video hey guys what's up it's Kaylee as y'all can tell from the title today's video is going to be a room tour I cleaned it especially for y'all so mwah. but I don't know what I'm doing yeah let's just begin I don't where do we start the front door obviously let's go this is what you see when you walk into my room and then we're just gonna like go around here yeah that's my room. You may be kind of confused uh, why these are still purple. Honestly, I could tell you why they're still purple. Go ahead and see my room transformation, by the way, if you want to see how this whole room came to be. But yeah, anyways, they are still purple because when I moved here 10 years ago, my first ever theme for this room was Hannah Montana. So we got purple along where like my LED lights were. There was this like border tape you can buy from I think Home Depot. I think it was at a lot of places like Walmart, Target maybe, but they had like this tape and you could border it around your room and it was just a bunch of pictures of Hannah Montana. So my whole room was purple. We had that border explains why those two doors are purple moving along there is a hole in my wall right there from my doorknob please excuse that anyways here we have the one the only the weekend abel test Bay starboy world tour poster from when i went um it was magical to say the least and we have my laundry basket, which I need to do my laundry. Yeah, if y'all are interested in where any of my furniture is from, I'll link it down below. On top of the mirror, we have this, which my sister-in-law made for me last Christmas. You click a button and then it lights up my name in hot pink. I need to get new batteries for it though. Then we have Christmas cards from my friends from last year that I literally keep all year round. And I have my mirror and the light. This is where I basically sit and film for the most part. Starting at the left corner on top, there is this box and it's a Sephora box just filled with miscellaneous jewelry. And on top of it, we have this red box with hearts on it. I think it, I'm pretty sure a hundred percent that's for Valentine's Day, but I love hearts and I love the color red. So I just leave it all year round. Just like daily things. We have moisturizer for my face, vitamins, deodorant, body spray, more vitamins, my car keys. Is this really an exo Kaylee room tour without having things of my friends here? My friends left these at my house. Those are Samantha's glasses and James's hand sanitizer. This flower thing my mom got me, it's like a smelly thing, I don't know. In this drawer, I keep all my hair things, so there's some scrunchies. You know what's funny? I bought a pack on Amazon of scrunchies, like 30 of them. And here we have three. So I literally use this 24 sub Random extensions. I don't even use extensions. Okay. And in here, there's some old school papers and books. I'm covering my last name on that book. But I just like to keep that in case like another class is like, hey, remember this thing you learned from last year? I just keep that in case you get what I mean. The box for my fish tank, a backpack. I don't even know what's above it. This is my rolly chair. It's white. I got hair dye on it. It has that thing where you can... There's a sock on my floor. Okay. Where you can like adjust the height and stuff like that. And then I have this red pillow. And in this drawer, we have just my everyday makeup. I don't use all of this every single day. You know, as you can see, there's different mascara. It's just what I mostly use every single day. And I'll switch like lip color some days. You get what I mean. My most used products, you can say. Here's my eyelash curler and all my makeup brushes. Here is my TV. Um, This was the TV for the living room. The infamous... Alex Nine drawers. I'm pretty sure you own these. On top of it though, we have my Wii and a karaoke mic. Then my DVD player in the first drawer. Such random things. We got a lotion, eyebrow supplies, um, a bunch of Carmex. This is all my makeup 
that I don't use every single day. For my camcorder box, some candles, um, sunglasses. This just has a bunch of scents. There's like perfumes, lotions, extra deodorant, hairsprays, fabric glue. This one I can't open because there may or may not be some Christmas resins in there. This is my DVD case. Well, it's a bookshelf technically, but this is just for all my DVDs, movies, shows, Wii games. Yeah, you get what I mean. So this is all of them. On top of it though, we have my Pisces candle, this rock smiley face thing, these two flowers. Under my movies, there are two stuffed animals, a bunch of games, and this from when Hannah came. It's just like a box of yarn, or not a box of, I don't know how a cylinder of string and i bought new beads today to make some bracelets my shoes down here i keep my tripod usually right there but i'm using it currently then we have my curtains blackout curtains i just have them in a tan white type color yes of course i own led lights i don't care i vibe with these here is my bed. The bedding is all red as well as my dog's bed. So obviously all three of them do not fit in one bed, but usually one likes to take one and then sleep with me because I don't have all three sleeping with me every night because we still have the puppy who sleeps downstairs. Just have a toy and a Snuggie. You probably saw this from the background of my videos. I would usually hang it over there but I give it to them sometimes. This is my bedding, it's all red. I really don't recommend this. It's a duvet and it's so hard to get on the comforter. If you know what a duvet is, then you get what I'm trying to say. All my badges from events I've been to. This is the headboard. Behind here, there's an extension cord. So there's like also some plugs I can plug things into. Have my charger plugged in over here. This is my charger. This is a Winnie the Pooh pillow pet. Piglet. And this is a stuffed animal bear my friend Ella gave me. This is like one of those long pillows. Are they called like body pillows? I don't know. But basically, it's blue. And it originally had like one long blue cover for it. But since I wanted to change this to white, I could not find like a white cover to cover the whole thing. So life hack, if you have one of these and you ever want to change the color of them, I literally just put two pillowcases on them. As you can tell from the middle, and then I put my two pillows there. This is my brother's computer since my MacBook is still getting fixed. This is the dog stairs since one of my dogs... Well, she can jump fine, but the other two, um, one of them is a wiener dog. You have to be very careful with their backs when they're jumping onto things. They shouldn't really jump. So there's stairs for her, but then there's also stairs for my oldest dog, Lady, because she's getting old. She can't really jump that good anymore. So we got some dog stairs. Here's my bedside table. I'm not even going to open these because there's just so many random things in there. It's weird. They're like junk drawers, but I know what's in them. Like, do y'all have those? Like... You have junk drawers. Like, they're so disorganized. Just a bunch of miscellaneous random things, but you just know what's in there. My Alexa. Um, okay. I was just checking. I thought she was going to go off. That's why I kind of whispered it. Here's all my remotes. One for the TV, one for the DVD, one for the Wii, and one for the LED light. I usually keep my water cup somewhere on this bedside table, so this is the one I'm using today. It's my bedazzled Starbucks cup. My little Statue of Liberty that's holding my Tinkerbell face mask. And I usually put my rings on it so I don't lose them. So I put them the same place where this is. This is one of my centerpieces from my Sweet 16. It was Peter Pan themed. And my AirPods. Oh, it's not in focus. I need to have it with my nose. Okay, above that is a bunch of pictures of my friends and family, whether it's like I printed them, just childhood photos or photo booth photo letter right there, and a drawn I've been given. Also, if y'all are wondering about the Starbucks thing, these have my Christmas present from last year, me and my sisters from my grandpa, which was me Girl tickets, and we were supposed to go this year, and then COVID happened, and I kept it on my wall so I wouldn't lose them. This door leads to my bathroom and just has casual jackets. Well, that's where I usually keep my casual jacket. There's mostly flannels right now because the others are dirty. In these two corners of my closet, just such random things. There's my old Hannah Montana guitar. There's a yoga mat. There's Christmas wrapping. Old backpacks, wearing a pair of shoes. These are more like less casual jackets, like staple piece jackets. I don't know how you call them. This is one of my dressers. This has pajamas, shorts, 
short sleeves. And this has bras, underwears, beanies, belts, that type of stuff, jeans, hoodies, and long sleeves. I'm covering this because you can see my school name and or county on some of these books, but this is just all my school stuff up here. There's a DMV book, flashcards, pens, pencils, my glasses. This is a stereo. This is what I used before I got my, I'm not going to say its name, but you know what I'm talking about. And I put the speaker up here. That's my MacBook charger. This is my backpack I basically take everywhere with me. This is my friend Alexa's bag of stuff. Then there's a full body mirror. Hi. These are clothes I'm going to film with tomorrow. We have my beta fish trippy over there. I need to refill the tank. And there's the food. Over here has dresses and onesie. Memory boxes. I have two of them. They are just filled with miscellaneous pictures, posters, birthday cards, yearbooks, all that stuff. This is my New York bag. I usually take it when I travel or aka sleepover at my friend's house. I got this for my birthday. I had to display it. It's a ranch bottle bedazzled with a K on it. This is my Sweet 16 candle lighting, uh... What do you call this? There's a name for it, but I forgot. But yeah, I have a crown from when I was in a beauty pageant. It's like a tin cake. A happy birthday Winnie the Pooh. Polaroid camera with the case. Peter Pan hat. And I don't know what that's filled with. Up here, I need to go through. Those bags have random clothes in it. There's paintings. There's some Christmas decor up there. Boxes. And just a very old backpack. Oh, and I also have a fan. There's a dream catcher. And this flower thing. And that concludes my room tour. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. If you'd like to see me more, go ahead and subscribe, leave a like and a comment on this video, and I will see you next time. Bye, y'all.